Number One Cochrane Sports Showdown is brought to you by Number One Cochrane. Go one better. John Rahm started his Masters by four putting the first green, but then he won by four shots after trailing by four to start the day. It was that kind of day for John Rahm. He's the new Masters winner, um, <clears throat> five-time winner. Tiger Woods likely won't play again. Chris, I want to ask you about this. Uh, you saw him hobbling around. He's had these injuries, specifically the one that nearly cost him his life and his leg. Should he play again, given the, what you see at Tiger Woods in these kinds of events? Well, I mean, the golf and the Masters in particular are, have the, the lifetime exemption, right? We, we saw what Larry Mize, and I know they're not legendary names. And, I mean, Arnold Palmer played in his 60s. Mm -hmm. you're, you're able to play. Now, they ever, never, these guys don't have a chance to win. They're out there, you know, ceremonial for the Is fans. that Tiger? So, so I, yeah, <laughs> I don't think he necessarily he's, – he's been open about not being wired that way and not wanting to do it. But – you know, I, part of me says, you know, he's been playing the last couple of years without a chance really to win a major, but he just won one three years ago. Not that it was pre-accident, mm -hmm. but he's, he's still making the cut, right? It's, it's not act like he's, uh, he's not know. competitive. I thought that was a little soft cut just wow. to accommodate him myself. I thought it was a soft cut, Pomp, and I, I can't imagine Tiger Woods had a good time this weekend. I really did, don't. Did he look I mean, like he did? There's, <laughs> no, I, it, but I mean, aside from the physical stuff, like the guy has yeah. pride. Anybody who does this has pride. Like, he's not going to take looking like an embarrassment terribly well. I don't mm. think he did, and that's basically what this was. Like, you can drop him down and he's going to hit a shot, but can he do it for four days? No. I mean, I talked to somebody once, and they said the great ones are always the last to know when it's over for themselves. Like, they're the last ones. And Tiger certainly, and look, I, was, I got to go to Augusta last year, got to cover the tournament, got to watch him hobble around for, for four days. It was inspiring. But on Saturday when his putter got away from him and the tee caught up, I wrote, maybe this is just what he's going to be. It's hard for me to imagine, I, do I think he could still compete? I mean, Phil's 51, 52 now, and he finished second today. But it's hard for me to imagine the, the trend isn't getting better. He didn't look better than he did last year. And when you don't play, you can't just show up at Augusta. Mm. As, as many times, as great as that course is, you can't just show up and win. Is he going to be able to divorce himself for that? And even Jack Nicholas knew, hey, it's a time, you know, I don't want to go out here and shoot 96. Tiger's not there yet, but... It, it's tough. I can see him maybe keep hanging on till 50 and then and then taking a break. But it is um, a lot of a Tiger guy. And, you know, but shout out to John Rahm. Pop and I could agree with this. You hit, you, you, to win the Masters, what's he do? He hits it into a tree that bounces into the fairway 100 yards. You know, and then he, he makes a par by pitching, by getting up and down from 75 yards. That is a Will Graves once around par. <laughs> Shout out, John Rahm. Pomp, you know, we, I don't have your game, Pomp. No, but so, you know what that I was? I got to take what I can that get. That was a tribute to Seve Ballesteros, who played that way. And Seve <laughs> right. won this thing 40 years ago on the day that John Rahm did. So his maybe birthday that was, was like, Seve his, par. His birthday was today or yesterday, too, yeah, right, Yeah, birthday. Seves. So, I mean, it all was lining up for that. All right, I want to tell you about this. Scouting out the right pre-owned vehicle can feel like a boom or bust kind of assignment. That's why Number One Cochrane is here to help you. They have thousands in stock from nearly new vehicles, certified and backed by the manufacturer, to auction-bound steals under $10,000. Also exclusive to Number One Cochrane are their high-quality C1 certified pre-owned vehicles, which are in superb condition and have passed a rigorous 201-point inspection. Shop pre-owned vehicles now at Cochrane.com.